Welcome to Project Settings, a module of the Wavelink eLearning training course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity Console. Each time you want to move to the next slide, click anywhere on the slide to continue or click on the forward arrow shown here. In this module, we will discuss the Settings menu option. As the product matures, there will be more options available for this menu, but for now we will concentrate on themes. Themes are global settings for the predictive algorithm and can be used in many ways. Last, we will discuss the banner element and the unique settings that are available. The settings screen is where you define your global screen element characteristics for a project. To get to the settings workspace for a project, select settings from the Velocity Console menu. The settings workspace will have focus. This workspace is divided into three sections. The tree view covers the left side pane of the workspace. Each settings option will be shown here. The elements are displayed in the middle of the pane of the workspace. When work is to be done on an element, it must be selected here to have focus. The available configurations for the elements are displayed in the right side pane of the workspace. When an element is selected in the middle pane, it has focus, and any edits done will be applied to that element. All options available for the settings screen will appear on the left-hand side tree view. Themes provide a universal or global workspace for each element type. Each theme consists of multiple elements. Each element was defined in the formatting rules module, but in review include banners, headers, data labels, data values, fields, menu items, and error messages. Each of these are editable through the theme screen option of the settings menu and create unique or branded styling that is applied via the app's built-in HTML and CSS rendering engine. When theme elements are set here, all imported screens containing those elements will be automatically formatted according to the configuration specified. Element formatting on a screen-by-screen -screen basis is performed in the Screens menu option rather than the Settings menu option. Themes set from the Settings tab are overridden when individual elements are edited in the Screens option. There are many reasons for using global themes in Velocity. The main reason, though, is uniformity. Here are a couple examples. The ability to set the screen display to include the company's logo and color scheme is quick and easy, and since it is set as a theme, it's global throughout the process. A company had a logo of a Velociraptor and company colors of maroon and black. This simple theme can make sure that that scheme is prevalent throughout the application. Another example of uniformity is defining the element types so that the administrator using the Velocity Console can see how the predictive formatting algorithm assigned the elements. And for the users who use the application, they learn what's a date entry field, what's a label, or what's a banner, or what's an error message. It is considered best practice to create a theme that gives colors and apply that theme at the beginning when screens are first imported. As we said before, it makes it easy to show the administrator how the predictive formatting algorithm was applied and if any changes need to be made. It is pointed clearly and by color. In this example, we know that login is a header because of its red color. We know that user and pass are configurable data labels because of their purple color. And that the screen has two input fields based on the lime green background. In the formatting rules module, we talked about all the different elements available and the common configurations that were available for font, font colors, and styles, as well as background colors. For themes, we will discuss the additional options that are available when the banner element is activated. This element allows for a picture and text to be added to the top of all screens globally when enabled on the settings panel. To turn on the banner element for a global banner, just slide banner element field to on. The banner element will appear at the top of the screen. Banners are always on top. The first thing to configure in the banner element is the banner image and the text to display. When element is selected on the edit themes page, you can see all the items that can be edited for a banner. 
Towards the bottom is the title field. In the field, you will enter the text that is going to be the title of the banner. In this example, we will title the banner Acme Enterprises. Below the title field is the image field. Use the browse button to browse for any .png, .gif, or JPEG file to use as an image for the banner. In this example, we will add the JPEG file velociraptor.jpg. Once selected, you will see the banner on display in the middle pane of the settings workspace. Please note that since the banner was created in the theme section, it will be displayed on all screens of the project unless overridden in the screens workspace. Once your element of your theme are configured, don't forget to save the project. Thank you for listening to Project Settings, a module of the Wavelink e-learning training course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity Console. You are now ready to move on to the next module. Wavelink, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Landis Corporation, has offices around the world, so there will always be a convenient office near you. If you would like any more information, please contact your Wavelink sales representative or email us at the address sales at wavelink.com.